more hits we play, the more hits we get. You are L Radio Dotnet. Stacey Stern. Kevin Kyes. Okay, we were talking about State Fair. Yes. One of my favorite things about Urban Harvest, State Fair, anything is food. Oh, my goodness, yes. My favorite thing about pretty much every event is food. And it's wacky foods. Yeah, fun foods mm-hmm. that you're not going to get every day. That's why you go up to the fair. That's why you go to other places like that, street fairs, yep. to get stuff that you're not going to be able to get every day. Mm-hmm. So here are some of the craziest foods at America State Fairs this year. You ready okay. for this? Corn in a cup. Sounds simple. I know. Actually, this it sounds really good. It's a shaved down alternative to corn on the cob. It has mayo, chorizo sausage, and cheese topped off with a lemon wedge. Ooh. And a magic dust of like paprika and some other stuff on it. That's actually really good. Have you ever slathered up your corn in like mayo and paprika no. and stuff and then put it in a foil and put it on the grill? No. Oh, mother ever. Butter. Butter, mayo, like <clears throat> paprika or some Cajun seasoning. Wrap it up in your foil. Put it on the grill. Damn, Sam. Mm. Yeah. Um, apple pie on a stick. That sounds delicious. It's deep fried pie balls. Pie balls. Pie balls on oh. a stick. Yeah. So I suppose it's almost like a fritter on a stick. Yeah. It's not that brilliant of an idea. And then they drizzle the little balls with caramel sauce. It's pretty good, I think. Oh. Mm. Um, nacho balls. Those are nacho balls. <laughs> they're are my, these balls. my balls. No, they're nacho balls. <laughs> good one, Stace. Thanks. Uh, it's exactly what you think they are. It's nachos rolled into a ball and deep fried. It's cheese. It's jalapenos. It's chips. It's meat. Aren't the chips soggy? I suppose when you deep fry it, the deep fry is going to, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you probably coat them and and they get crispy in the deep fry process. Mm. I'd I'd do that. Oh, yeah. And then you dip them in nacho cheese. Hell yeah. Mm. Mm. Why do I do this when I haven't eaten breakfast? Me either. Toast. Where's the bagels at? Why, why hasn't... Why Where's hasn't, catering? <laughs> right? <laughs> Toasted coconut caramel clusters. <clears throat> Crumbled Ooh. fudge and pretzel bites bundled together Yum. under a blanket of frozen chocolate and toasted caramel drizzle or coconut drizzled with caramel. Yum. Oh, I think I... I'm salivating. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Um, the ultimate bacon explosion. Oh, never mind. This may win them all. Eight ounces of brisket. Got it. Wrapped in bacon. Love it. Covered in jalapeno cheese and barbecue sauce. I can do that. Deep fried, wrapped in more bacon, deep fried, and yes, then covered in more cheese. Please. Oh my goodness. Where can I get that? I don't know. Not at our state fair. Not at our state fair. You can make it at home. It's just not going to taste the same. There's something about a seasoned. Food truck deep fryer. Yep. And people been deep frying that shit for like 15 years. That oil's delicious. Yep. Okay, next they have the burger dog. So it's hamburger, hot dog, bacon, cheese, jalapenos. They're blended together and then molded into a hot dog. Really? That's yeah. genius. That is kind of smart. God, I Because I often am torn. Which one am I going to have? Mm-hmm. You can have both. Uh, I have bacon. before split hot dogs. Okay, here's a good hamburger. You do your, your regular bacon cheeseburger. Okay. And then you take your, I prefer Cloverdale dogs. Okay. Cloverdale Reds. Yep. You, cl- you cut them in half the long way. Like you cut them in half, uh, you lay them out, and then you cut them in half so you have two sh- smaller pieces. And you cut them in half again. And then you put them on the grill and you kind of fry them up a little bit. Yeah. And then put them on your hamburger. Yum. Mm <laughs> And they fit because when you cut them in half like that, they're the bun size. Yep. That's a delicious hamburger bun size. Dang. Dang, girl. I know. Um, Italian dessert nachos. Cannoli chips replace tortilla chips, and they're topped with ricotta cheese, fruit, chocolate Nutella, nuts, candy, and sprinkles. Mm. Then there's the mac and cheese cupcake. Uh, The mac and cheese cupcake? cupcake? Mac and cheese is wrapped and sprinkled with breadcrumbs and then frosted with cheese whiz. Oh, my goodness. So it's like baked mac and cheese in a cupcake form. With cheese whiz. <laughs> With cheese whiz on top. It's been, when's the last time you had cheese whiz? Like two weeks ago. Oh, really? <laughs> like went and purchased Don't judge cheese? Me. Went and purchased cheese? Like, damn. Oh, I needed it for a recipe. I really like it on hot dogs with bacon bits. Really? Mm-hmm. Dang. I like your style, girl. <laughs> How you doing, girl? Damn, Gina. <laughs> Um, next, uh, t- 
tot chos, tater tot nachos. Basically, they're like super nacho or super tater tots is what it is. Sure. You got your beef on them. You got your sour cream, your scallions, your bacon bits. It's gluten free though, so that's good. If anybody ever bitches about like gluten free stuff, say, "What is gluten exactly?" They can't. They can't can't tell you when you say, "Okay, so if if it's just made from wheat, why is that bad for you?" They don't know that either. Unless you're allergic to wheat. Unless you have like celiac disease. Um, Next. Deep fried Starbucks. What? San Diego County Fair, 2015. Starbucks coffee is infused with pastry dough, fried, covered in sugar, and served with uh, caramel reduction, a coffee reduction, and whipped cream. Hmm. Mm. Deep fried milk and cookies on a stick. It's a custard made of blended milk, sugar, and cookies, covered with an egg wash, and then breaded with like Oreo cookies and deep fried. Love it. It sounds pretty good. Yes, ma'am. Um, this one I've actually made at home before, the donut burger. It's also known as the big kahuna. Oh. What you do is you take like a donut and you cut it in half. Glazed donut. A glazed donut. And then you put the glazed side towards your bacon cheeseburger. And then you grill the outside. Gotcha. The cakey side. Yep. It's pretty freaking good. You're salivating, aren't you? I'm really <laughs> hungry. How many calories do you think that has? Oh, my Lord. Thousands. It does. It has 1,700 calories, roughly. Yeah. Um, spaghetti ice cream. Now, it's not what you think it is. Yeah. At first, it looks like pasta and sauce, but it's not. The noodles are gelato. The tomato sauce is actually strawberry, and the Parmesan is white chocolate. And the meatballs are actually chocolate balls. Mm. Yum. French fry coated hot dog. French fry coated hot yeah. dog. Yeah. Eat your hot dog and side of fries at once, conveniently on a handheld what? stick. The fries are the batter for the dog. I don't know how they do that, but that's got to be interesting. Yeah. Um, deep fried beer. Yum. Little packets of dough filled with beer and then deep fried. So when you eat it, it's like a... Like a... A, a hot beer explosion in your mouth? That doesn't even <laughs> right. sound good. It doesn't. Because who doesn't love hot beer? Right. Ugh. And here's the last one. Chocolate covered scorpions. What? Yeah. Not here in America. Yeah. Yes. Here in America? Yes. It originated in California and New Mexico. These crunchy treats are deep fried and covered in chocolate. In Arizona, they also give you the option, if you're not a fan of scorpions, to do crickets, grasshoppers, or lizards. Heck. Nope. Hey, there's somebody that wants to try that shit. You know that, though, just to try it. Sure. Not me, though. It's not going to be good, probably, but they want to try it. No. Nope. So there you go. I'll stick with my funnel cake. I'm, and anything with, like, bacon. <laughs> God, I'm going to overeat today. I can't start off my day like this. It's Friday. Bad. I'm at the state fair with the oh, kids. I know. I'm going to bring $400, right. though. Good it's going to be God. interesting. By the time everybody gets what they want for food, it's like $400 later. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> All right, coming up. Speaking, we're going to talk more food, but not about food, about the restaurant industry. Things people who work late at night and food shops want you to know. And then also we're going to try to fit in an SOS too. Okay. And if there's a song you want to hear, email me, Stacy at URLradio.net. That's S-T-A-C-Y at URLradio.net.